Hi, I'm Keith. I hope you have a great stay here in Cardiff and enjoy your vacation. When you first get here, the top lock box is your box. And you just clear and then punch in the code. There's two keys. The gold one's for the house and the silver one's for the garage. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. First thing we notice, there is a screen door and you just push down this tab to close it. And sometimes if the door isn't working, look for this lever here, and make sure it's straight up and down. Inside the house, the first thing I wanna point out is the README book. In the README book, it has all the pertinent information. So here's your checkout quick list. Here's a quick guide with the Wi-Fi password, the network, the water is filtered. So use the skinny little spout at the sink for the filtered water. Trash day is on Friday. Thursday nights, take out the trash. Usually I take that out if I'm in town, but sometimes if I'm not, I'll ask one of our guests to take the trash cans down to the street. Checkout time is generally 11 a.m. Sometimes we may need you to check out earlier, or sometimes we can allow you to stay later. There is a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher under the sink, and the nearest hospital is Scripps Encinitas, and that's a mile north of us. And then here's our cell phone numbers if you need to get in touch with us. So under the sink, we have your fire extinguisher, first aid kit. Here's fresh tablets for the dishwasher, dish soap, fresh sponge, and rags. Swiffer pads are under here as well, with the mop being next to the refrigerator. In the kitchen, you'll see everything is organized. So your cabinets, everything is labeled, tells you where to put stuff. It's pretty straightforward. Same thing for the glasses. You should be easily able to find what you're looking for. We have condiments, oil and vinegar up top here, extra paper towel, napkins for the dinner table. If you're a coffee drinker, we have many different coffee options. Or if you're a tea drinker, hot tea kettle, and then a coffee grinder as well. The Keurig usually has some, some pods to get you started, but feel free to buy your own pods at Seaside Market. They have a great selection of different coffees. Cutting board over here, all the stuff you need to cook and live. In the silverware drawer, we have lots of little measuring instruments, silverware, and of course our knives. Please hand wash the knives. Don't put them in the dishwasher. They're very sharp. I sharpen them every uh, couple months. So please take care of those. And then we've got mixing bowls and strainers and all your pots and pans for the stove. All in all, everything you need to cook a great meal. Trash and recycle over here. And then take a look at our welcome card. It has a little, it has a little bit of information on the front, but more importantly on the back, it tells you some of the things that we like to do and some of the dishes we like to get at the local restaurants in town. And then these, these are some different activities to do while you're in the Cardiff area. Which leads me to the book. Under the Eat tab, you'll see that we have lots of restaurants that we like. And on the very last tab of the Eat tab is a grid with different food choices and options. So if you're a coffee drinker, check out these different coffee shops in different types of foods. And even if you're vegan or gluten-free, we've listed some of the restaurants that cater to that. Everything you need to know about the bungalow is in this book. So how to work the fire pit, how to work the barbecue, the TV, and so on. We encourage folks to make a Cardiff crack. So this is a tri-tip roast they sell at Seaside Market. And these are the cooking instructions on how to create that. Now let's go through the rest of the house and look at some of the other features in the house. 
these two couches can become sofa sleepers and we keep that bedding here in the hall closet. If you, if you have a guest sleeping on the couch, please use a mattress pad and a bottom sheet. And then there's just a duvet and a pillow. Underneath the bedding are the beach towels and then a stool and iron. And the bottom is yoga block and mats. And there is a great yoga place just nearby called Vinyasa Arts, and they do sell a membership for a week at a time if you'd like, or just a single class. We have an air conditioner here, and it's a split type unit. And this is the remote to control it. So to use it, just push it on, and then make sure it has the snowflake at the top, or if it's in the winter, you'll push mode to get it to go to the sun, and that would become a heater. But we'll put it on air conditioning. You can set your temperature here and then fan speed here. And one thing that's kind of nice, if you set the fan speed and you see that little arrow, it's going up and down, it'll simulate wind. And then also if you push these buttons here, you can point the louvers a certain way or you can even have all the louvers on all the time and push air all around the room. And this does a really great job of cooling off the room. One thing to keep in note, if you are running the air conditioner, please close the windows. Otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And then to turn it off, just the power, power off button here, and that'll turn the system off. We do have Apple TV in the house. And to work Apple TV, you just point this at the TV. The top part is like a mouse Menu takes you up a level, and this button is basically the sleep button. So to wake up the system, just push any of the buttons at the TV, and you'll see that it, it comes on. And we're going to use uh, we're going to use the menu button. If you keep pushing menu, it'll take you to the top level. This is the top level, and then you just use your thumb across the the top of the mouse pad, and uh, this one called PlayStation View is the TV app. So you just click on that and then it takes you into PlayStation View. And then from here, you can watch regular TV. And if you see the blue box that's highlighted, you move your thumb and you can go to hop. The top is now says home over to guide. We can click on guide and then it just takes you into all your regular TV channels. Push menu to go back up a level and we'll go back out to the very top level of the system of Apple TV. And from here, if we want to watch movies, we can scroll over to where it says computers, and then we select that, and now it takes us into the server at the bungalows. And the server has about a thousand movies on it. And then you can find these by different genres. So here you'll see at the top, it says movies. And then as we scroll down, these are what was recently added. And we can go down to basic genres, or we can go into playlists, which are additional genres. So for example, if you wanna watch a rom-com, for instance, there's a group, there's a, a subgenre called rom-coms. And from here, we've got 99 different movies we can watch uh, that are romantic comedies. And then to get back out, you just keep hitting menu to get to the very top level. To turn the whole system off, you push this button to the right, and it says, put your system to sleep, so you choose yes. And that turns off the TV and the Apple TV at the same time. Now, if you do go to Seaside Market and go buy your goods, we have bags here. And then in the bathroom, let's talk about that. You'll find everything decked out, toilet paper, towels. These washcloths are to remove makeup or hand towels to dry your hands. And then um, you'll notice that we have a chalkboard here and you can go ahead and put your name on the chalkboard. So if you have kids and you guys are sharing different pegs, everyone can have their own spot in the bathroom. Okay, the master bedroom is uh, all outfitted with uh, Apple TV as well. So it's got a TV. Um, it also has inside the closet is a uh, vacuum cleaner. I'm kind of a fanatic about having sand on my feet, so I, I always like to have it vacuumed. 
And then your, there's your remotes for uh, the Apple TV and the TV. And then inside the guest room, we have two twins set up. And uh, in the closet, lots of hanger space. Full-length mirror in here as well. And everything you need to uh, have an enjoyable vacation. So that's the main unit. Um, let's talk a little bit about outside. And uh, we've got the barbecue out here. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I keep the gas off on the barbecue. So when you do use the barbecue, just pull that lever straight up. And then uh, here's how you, you light the grill, set it to light, push that button, and that'll light the grill. We have hoses at the front and the back door, so you can rinse the sand off when you come back from the beach. We have washer and dryer, soap pods up top. You just drop a soap pod in the bottom, drop it into the washer. Over here we have cushions for the chairs. We ask that you keep the cushions in the box when the chairs aren't in use. Even every night, put them in there so they just they don't get too dirty. And then uh, fire pit here, and same thing. You don't need a lot of gas, literally about that much of a turn to light the, the, uh, the gas for the fire pit. And this is a great spot at night to hang out there. Now, let's go ahead and take a look in the garage. Now we've got some of our own personal bikes over here. These aren't, these aren't for use, but these bikes are all for you guys to use. I've got my own personal surfboard there. Please don't ride that. But all these bikes are available to use and they all have quick release seats. They all have baskets. They all have locks and the code to the lock is 1949, same as the address. And we have lots of, uh, Lots of surfboards and bleed board options, some sand toys, lots of stuff. Um, the trailer does go on the black bike. If you want to take this down to the beach, you can load it up with boogie boards and, and beach chairs and so on. And we've got different chair options, umbrellas, uh, some, some wetsuits if you want to uh, go surfing in the cold. Just make sure you rinse the wetsuit with fresh water when you bring it back. Don't leave it uh, with salt water. And then uh, we've got a, uh, a way to open the garage door out here. So you just plug in the code is the address backwards and then hit the enter button and that opens that garage. In the back here you can park two cars. You can see that I've just kind of squeezed in that way but you can actually park two cars side by side. As soon as the wheels get over this hump uh, generally you're good. Even an SUV as large as a Suburban has been able to park straight in to the fence here. Um, so that it should accommodate two cars easily. And that's pretty much it for, for the outside of the bungalow. Oh, one more thing. We do have the crow's nest up there where you, uh, it's a shared space between the front and the back. And we've got a cushion box just like what we have here. And we also have these outdoor lights. Let me show you how these work. So you just push in your time, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, and all the lights come on. And then if you want to turn the system off, you can just push this bottom button and that'll turn everything off. Another thing I want to point out is we do have these high-speed chargers throughout the house. So uh, I know when we travel, we're always charging our devices. So here's one that'll take six people, two and a half uh, watts or two and a half amps per, um, per phone. Uh, and then we also have them in the master bedroom. We keep, uh, keep them under the desk here. There's a, a dual port. And then in the guest room, we have the same we have one over here under the luggage cart is uh, another high-speed charger for you. Okay, a couple other things I want to point out. There's an extra house key on the back door, a remote control for the garage. So if you park in the back and you, you just want to open the door automatically, you can use that. Over here we have where we keep the fire starter for the uh, hot pads and then for the fire pit, and there's your starter there. So here's your trash and recycle cans. Uh, gray is for the trash, blue is for the recycle, green is for the uh, the green waste, but that's for the gardener, basically. Thursday night, we take the trash cans down to the street, just drag them right down here, and you'll put them down at the street. Up at the crow's nest, we have extra cushions in this container here. Keep them in here if they're not in use. Uh, please put them in here every night. This is a great spot in the afternoon. It's very shady right here and uh, gets a nice breeze in the afternoon if you want to sit out here for a glass of wine at night. There's some lights right here. You can just push these on. These are like the other lights. And you'll see the lights are on and then uh, you can have a nice uh, evening session up on the crow's nest.